again because I just crossed something that I had to record. There's Montana, right there. I'm in freaking Montana, guys. I always wanted to go to Montana, and I'm freaking in Montana. Continue on I-15 North for 106 miles. What's up, guys? Oh, this is so much better having the GoPro up there versus the big camera. It's so much smaller, more compact. Freaking awesome. So, I just stopped in Lima, Montana. Um, I had my GoPro overnighted to, actually it's not my GoPro, it's Victor's. I ordered another one and it didn't show up until a day after my wife overnighted my buddy's GoPro to me. So, anyway, gonna have a little more vlogging footage while I'm driving. I kind of missed the first two days of filming stuff like this because the big camera was kind of a pain in the rear to mount and then take off um, to do this so anyway cameras up there now I'm in Lima Montana I have nine hours and 21 minutes to go today which is 600 miles um, set up at Northwest Overland Rally isn't until tomorrow However, I would, I would like to try to make it all the way to Leavenworth, Washington today. That way, tomorrow I have a little time to sort of relax. I've been just kind of humping it for you know, three days now. But um, so far the trip has been exceptional. I couldn't ask for it to be any different. This is the longest trip I've, I've ever done really to date. So total round trip is expected to be about 6,200 miles. And um, I mean, this is just an incredible opportunity and an incredible experience. I, I really wish my wife could be here with me. Unfortunately, she, she couldn't this time around. She's, um, she's competing in the uh, Branch Warren Classic, which is a bikini bodybuilding show, uh, July 6th. So with travel and whatnot, it's, it's, it's just very difficult to, to travel while she's on prep. So. You know, it causes bloat and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, that I, I couldn't ask for this trip to go any, any different. It's, it's been great so far. Um, I did hit a little bit of bad weather the first day and a half or so. But, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not complaining at all. I mean, it's still been an incredible experience. So, but anyway, I will keep you guys posted. Um, I'm probably going to do a Q&A while I'm driving like this, down the line, um, I got a bunch of questions coming in through Instagram, and so I'll, I'll be posting them on YouTube for everybody to see. So, but yeah guys, stay tuned. I appreciate you all following and watching and tuning in to you know, this, whatever this is. I'm still learning YouTube, so bear with me. We can learn together and kind of figure out where we're gonna take this and the direction I'm gonna go with the channel. Um, for me, what I want it to be is just I want to I want to encourage people to go out and do stuff. And uh, you know, if I'm seeing things like this, I, I feel like it's my duty to share my experiences, just because you know, I, so many people I've met have never even left their hometown. So it's, you know, if I can show people things outside of the norm, that's what I want to do. You know, and also the biggest reason why I started to do the YouTube channel so that way me and my wife can look back on this stuff. So anyway. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, so are we. So just follow along with us if you want to. If you have any suggestions or opinions or, um, you know, things that we should film or try to document, you know, feel free to drop a comment below. Always like and subscribe if you don't mind. And, um, yeah. too loud because I'm kind of at the hotel still so I got into Leavenworth Washington last night about I don't know 10 30 11 o'clock ish and uh, met up with Bob and Reggie 
and Chris. And uh, we went and had a beer at a little bar and grill last night. And uh, we stayed at a hotel called The Loft. And we we're about to go set up for the, uh, the rally. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, always makes me nervous going places and leaving my truck when it's totally geared down like it is. Because usually when I'm on these trips, I'm in the truck, so I'm not really worried about things. Oh, is it? Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, my boys. Hello, my mama. Hello, mama. Oh, yes. Oh, hello. I know. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. You had left by yourself last night. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, just left the hotel. Had an amazing uh, night to kind of catch up on some much needed rest and uh, grab a hot shower and sleep in a nice bed. So uh, right now I'm following Bob and Reggie with, uh, they got the nine line trailer with them, nine line apparel. So uh, we're headed over to where, I don't know where we're going as far as where the actual Northwest Overland Rally is actually held or hosted at, but that's where we're headed right now. So. I'll keep you guys tuned in. We're gonna go set up the booth um, and kind of figure out the placement of all the vehicles and the trailers and stuff. And uh, dang, I got the back window open. Shoot. And then, uh, anyway, update you guys down the line. All right, we have made it to the Northwest Overland Rally. Almost, about to pull in. But I'm pretty much here. So guys, so it's day one, setup is done. Bob and I are walking around, checking out. Say hi to Bob. What's up guys? Hi Bob. That's Bob, you can find him on Instagram, Bob Lynn Jolie. I'll put his hashtag, I mean uh, his Instagram name there on the bottom of the screen. But uh, anyway, we're walking around, kind of looking at the booths. Tomorrow, yeah, so it actually starts yeah. tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, so tomorrow is the I guess the official start of the Northwest Overland Rally today. This is basically a vendor setting up. So, and most of them, most of which are already done setting up. So we figured we'd walk around and kind of take this time to see stuff because tomorrow will be kind of busy. So anyway, keep an eye out. We'll show you guys what it looks like. What's up guys, I've been following him on Instagram for a long time. I'm gonna let him make his own introduction. What's up dude, tell us who you are. I'm Ken Hoagland Overland, and uh, this is my truck here. I'm uh, just finishing on the tail end of my trip to Alaska, and uh, I didn't really plan to be here. It just kind of worked out timing wise. Uh, I was gonna think, because I thought we were, I, I messaged you, you said you weren't gonna make it. Yeah, no, I wasn't gonna make Whistler. Oh, you're okay, going to Whistler. got you, that's right, that's right. Yeah. yeah. But I got my kids with me, here's Elsa, and, and Asher hey. is. Where'd Asher run off? Asher He's, upstairs. Like He's upstairs in his room, the tent. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, dude, it was super awesome running into you. Uh, I've been yeah. following your truck and your build and your adventures for a long time, so it's really nice to kind of meet you in person. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah right on. Thanks, cool, All right, guys, so I forgot my camera in the truck earlier. So we, we are in Leavenworth still. We just had dinner and ice cream. I was hanging out with Justin from Factor 55 and uh, went checked on the dog real quick grabbed the camera and grabbed you guys obviously so we're kind of walking back down 
the strip here we're gonna go maybe grab another beer and then head back to the Northwest Overland Rally and uh, where we'll be pretty much parked for the next four days so um, this is a super neat town so what's up guys good morning today is the first day of the expo slept great last night I'm about to make some coffee so Got a French press here, I left mine. Reggie and Bob picked one up. Coffee, so propane, pot, and water. So let's get this going. How was it, man? Dude, sleeping in the hammock in Washington. That's how it was. That's awesome. I, I like the hat holder. That's awesome. My hair's a little disheveled, but it's uh, it's all right, though. No I'm big deal. Well, I'm glad you slept good, man. Thanks, dude. How'd you like my tent? I, the tent was amazing. Yeah? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, super cool. I like that it, uh, it's dark as long as you need it to be until you open the windows. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's There's cool. There's no concept of what time it is. I know. So, I got coffee and breakfast cooking, man. Heck yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go finish breakfast, finish coffee, and then uh, we're gonna start the day. And I'll kind of walk you guys around and show you what the Northwest Overland Rally is all about on day one. And uh, we'll have some fun. And we're back, guys. So, uh, I'm about to walk around the vendor area at the Northwest Overland Rally. And um, I'm just gonna kind of walk around and show you everything from, from my point of view and uh, let you meet a couple of the guys and companies that, that I personally wanna meet and uh, wanna say hi to. So just kinda showing you this experience and this event through my eyes, that you guys can get an idea of what goes on here. And I get a lot of questions like, well, what is the Northwest Overland Rally? What is the Overland Expo? So uh, I'm gonna kinda show you what it's all about and why they have these types of things. And uh, you know, maybe one day if you're in an area where there's gonna be one, it might, you know, inspire you to want to attend and check one out and get some ideas for things that's going to make your adventuring a little more comfortable or whatnot. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you out, show you guys around, and uh, we'll have some fun in the process. driven from wherever they've driven from to come check out the event and then in their camping area there's lots of really cool rigs out here so I'm gonna go walk around and kind of show you some of the coolest ones that I can find so that's what I'm doing over here
about you? Good. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Can I walk around and film? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, cool. Samson's yep. back there. Samson's so. back there. I'm cooking some grub, man. Oh, we can't forget the baked beans. Yep, we got baked beans. We got some lean beef patties. And we're about to make some mashed potatoes. Instant potatoes. What's up, dude? You're on YouTube now, is that cool? I'm fine with YouTube. I'm always on YouTube. There you go, man. What's your name? Ben. Ben. And what does uh, you and your family do? Uh, we make knives, custom knives. My dad owns Seek and Knife and Tool. And my knife company is Oakleaf Knives. I'm very small. So. Awesome, man. Do you uh, have a knife on you that we could look at? Sure. I'm actually carrying around my side. Oh, dang. Well, let's see it, man. This was the first knife ever made. Uh, D2, steel, hardened. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. The sweet knife. The only downside of having this knife is that, actually, there's only downside is the scales. They kind of faults the fungus and everything has breaks off with this yeah i've actually hacked a tree down with this a small tree before so for survival purposes. heck yeah man well dude it's awesome you come over and chit chat with me man you too heck yeah well, i'm gonna grub out real quick and we'll keep uh, enjoying the northwest over and rather right you too enjoy awesome. it awesome man later bro well, i didn't bring my can opener so i'm going old school opening up my beans so, so far we've walked around today and kind of got a good lay of the land and checked out some people that I've talked to online and met some other people that I hadn't met before. And um, enjoy myself so far. It's been a really cool event. Hey, I'm Melissa with Expedition Essentials. We're a family owned company out of the Pacific Northwest. We're out of Ferndale, Washington. We're here today at the Northwest Overland Rally and we have mounting solutions for all of your needs tacoma forerunner lexus gx 470 we have some universal mounting options as well check us out like i said we're family owned veteran owned my husband's mind never turns off he always has solutions and ideas and that's what we're about us made to top it off hey guys i'm justin b mcbride with cpi off-road and princeton design studio today i want to talk about this TRD Pro. This is a 2019. We put a, something a little fancy on the front here. This is our push bar. This is actually one of our oldest products for the third generation Tacoma, but we've never really shown it off. So building this truck, we decided to use it. And then we've integrated with it our hidden winch mount. And so doing that, this is actually a combination of two products to get you this look. Bolted on a Heretic Studio 20 inch with amber on the front. Um, nice thing about this is you can still operate all of your sensors and stuff for cruise control. So you don't have to worry about this guy getting gunked up with a bar or anything. Uh, it's really nice there. Going across the whole rest of the beast here is just everything we do from rock sliders, skid plates. This even has our brand new gas skid plate on it. So that's pretty rad. Uh, bed racks, roof racks, all of it. We do it all. So all you got to do, give us a call, look us up on the internets and uh, get yourself outfitted with some rad gear. Hey guys, it's Dave here from Heretic Studio. We're here in beautiful Plain, Washington at the Northwest Overland Rally. Just here to talk about some lights and show you kind of what we've got. Here we've got a small sample of some of our smaller size bars. Everything we do is billet aluminum. It's all CNC machined in-house from our location just north of Salt Lake City. A uh, bunch of different options, but really we're just here to talk about kind of what makes us different, how we do our circuitry, how we, the materials we use, how we assemb assemble them all by hand and just to here, here to have a good time, so. What's up guys, my name is Paul. Uh, this is my truck, my Instagram, PNW Tacoma, and uh, got into this overland off-roading adventure about uh, almost two years ago now. And it started with just a four-wheel drive truck and we wanted to do a lift and tires and, and wheels and ended up with this. So 
we're having fun. Uh, we started doing a lot of camping. So if you, as you can see, we rented a trailer to help house the kids, Very family. Cool. And these tear, teardrops are pretty damn cool. So yeah, that makes um, it. Been having fun, hanging out with the guys here. We got the whole crew. All of us just hanging out and having fun and meeting people like you so cool man well i appreciate your time you have a really awesome truck and the teardrop i'm sure makes everything a lot more comfortable so thanks man awesome man yeah. you uh made me jealous you got your go fast before i did so <laughs> oh well, you're gonna love that man i can't wait to get yep. it man yeah well cool dude nice to meet you and talk to you in person finally and uh got to see your awesome rig too so sweet yeah. hi everybody i'm brian greg uh this is my bill uh, it's a 2013 uh trd off-road um, obviously a Tacoma um, and I built my rig the way that I wanted to build it because I've enjoyed the outdoors since I was a kid. Um, born and raised in Washington State. Um, my dad helped my sister and I both fall in love with the outdoors um, and I always wanted to be able to go and take base camp anywhere. So I've got a Tapui Kukanam 3. Um, love the tent. I have a Prinsu uh, cab rack which I also love. I'm going to get the back one as well for my canopy. Um, but basically this is just for us to go, um, my boyfriend and I, to um, take out, camp wherever we want to go, explore, find sweet views, and go all over the nation. Hey, my name's Derek. This is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma Off-Road. Um, and the reason that we bought this is just to get outside and do more. Um, I was raised hunting and fishing, and we spent a lot of time uh, on the road, and but some of the best memories are on the road. Um, so it doesn't have to be, you know, built out this much, but um, the idea is basically get outside, uh, do more, be comfortable, uh, enjoy uh, being outside and in the presence of others, and uh, whatever you do, don't stop exploring. Um, the main reason that we did this is, you know, we want the option to be able to stop, park anywhere, crash for the night, and start it all over again the next day. Uh, so I encourage you to come out to um, rallies and events like this and, and get outside and uh, just find new things and explore. What's up guys? Jason from Ox Overland here with uh, Adventure Overland and just wanted to take a second and tell you what we do, who we are. And um, we've got a YouTube channel that does Adventure Overland. Go check that out. And then uh, we're a traveling family as of now. So we started out um, retracing the Oregon Trail with a team of guys and it slowly evolved into family travel. And so now we're taking uh, my wife and two kids to uh, Southeast Asia for six months to explore explore the Far East and see, uh, see what that's all about. Um, decided to do that because wasn't a lot of people over there and we love the country. And so watch us as we travel through Southeast Asia. Hi, I'm Jarrett with Real Life Overland. What we're looking at here is a 2018 Tacoma. We're sitting at the CBI booth. We have one of their CBI bumpers. We're also running the CBI rock sliders. We're also running the Prince U cab rack. Um, my wife and I take this out in the Olympics all the time. We have a little teardrop that goes behind it, running the Littner rhino rack for the bat wing. And then also we have the deck drawers in the back. We're also set up with a sea bag. All of our essentials go in there. It's all waterproof, weatherproof, and we get to lock it up. And then of course, Good folks at Decked and their equipment. Gotta keep it organized. All right guys, good morning. It is day two, Saturday of the expo. You know, the usual routine. Wash my face, brush my teeth. Coffee is number one, it's making and boiling. And then I'm about to make some breakfast again. Same thing, gonna be eggs, bacon, and oatmeal. So, we'll see you after breakfast is made. Today's gonna be a pretty cool day. I think it'll be a little busier than yesterday. And, uh, to kind of hang out again. See you later. <laughs>
What's up guys, good morning. It is Sunday, 8.30 in the morning. I'm sorry, 9.30 in the morning. The Northwest Open Run Rally is over. We are packed, uh, ready to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching a little bit about what happens here and you know some of my experiences. So we are about to get back on the road and head north. We're gonna hit the Cascades National Monument, or National Forest rather, uh, off of Highway 20. Um, some of the people that are here from Washington said that that is uh, a very, very beautiful drive and it kind of crosses around through the mountains. So we're going to head up Highway 20 up north and see how far we can get on our way to Canada. So where we will be spending Thursday through next Sunday uh, at the BC Overland Rally in British Columbia. So anyway guys, I'm going to get back on the road. We'll keep you guys in the loop and up to date with what we're doing and where we're at. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you don't mind. And uh, you know, drop a comment down below if you want to see something different or you know, have any, uh, I don't know, good things to say. So thank you guys for watching.